Hello, I'm Jim Conda Jr. from WatchTheVote2012.com. The one thing that the establishment, the neocons, the rhinos, uh, those behind the Federal Reserve System and Goldman Sachs, the one thing they want to prevent on January 3rd, 2012, the night of the Iowa caucus, is for Ron Paul to go up on stage with thousands of cheering supporters and have to announce to the world, Ron Paul has won the Iowa caucus. This totally destroys their credibility. The five TV networks have been telling us for years, along with Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn, and to some extent Glenn Beck until recently, they've been telling us Ron Paul's a fringe candidate, doesn't have a chance, his supporters are all nuts. Uh, they've been putting out phony polls one after another to try to make uh, establishment hacks uh, like Romney or Gingrich the, uh, the, 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 look like the front runner. So the one thing they want to do is prevent him from doing that. Uh, we also believe that Michelle Bachman is, is in danger of being cheated and Rick Santorum. And you have to understand something. The Iowa caucus, the, excuse me, the state Iowa GOP has a long history of rigging not only the Iowa caucus but also the Iowa straw poll. Now being in the right place in the right time, uh, I, I, I unintentionally became the foremost expert in the world on how the Iowa State GOP rigs these Iowa caucuses. I've been fighting computer vote fraud and other forms of modern vote fraud since uh, 1979, believe it or not, a lifetime ago when I was 26 years old. I'm 58 years old today in 2011, 2012. <clears throat> uh, I was in Dubuque, Iowa, working for Pat Buchanan in 1996. And uh, the long version will go into this, but just uh, Believe me, we proved that the Iowa State GOP, in conjunction with the big TV networks, stole 13 percent of Pat Buchanan's vote in Dubuque, Iowa, by simply changing the numbers. Their play we were only watching one uh, county for uh, uh, Buchanan in 1996 in Iowa. There's 99 counties. The purpose of this video is to warn, especially the young, idealistic, honest Ron Paul supporters who are by the millions to warn you how the Iowa GOP and the big TV networks fix the Iowa caucus so we can watch eyewitness at all of the Iowa, local Iowa caucuses and preventing from doing, prevent, prevent them from doing so this time on January 3rd, 2012 when the Iowa caucuses run from about 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. for the GOP. So here's the way that, that they fixed it. The Iowa grassroots people, just like the state of Ohio grassroots people where I am and everywhere, the grassroots people in Iowa are honest, but the, uh, the, 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 they go to the caucus. There's maybe 50 to 100 people there, they're neighbors, they vote by a show of hands, their, their, their preference, or they have paper ballots, and they write down their choice, and everybody, then they count it on the desk in front of the classroom or wherever, wherever they are, and everybody can see it. The Iowans at the grassroots are honest, and they have a very honest process. The Iowa caucus is the only major contest in the presidential primary season where we can totally check the results if we, if we check the results. Then, the, in, in 1996, it was, Dole was the establishment candidate, Buchanan was the populist candidate, and the establishment, uh, the Fed, everybody wanted to stop Buchanan. So the Iowa GOP crookedly told the 99 Iowa County lead, uh, the chairman to call into New York City to a sinister group called Voter News Service which is owned by the big TV networks at that time, ABC, CBS, uh, NBC, CNN, and AP. Fox didn't exist, but Fox is now, so an, all, now also an owner. Voter News Service simply switched the results and sent it out over AP wire, defrauding Buchanan of 13% of his vote in Dubuque. We proved this. We had eyewitnesses in every classroom. The chairman was an honest guy in Dubuque. He put the results on a big blackboard outside the principal's office. So this is what they intend to do to Ron Paul and probably Michelle Bachman this time. They also intend to bump up Gingrich's and Romney's numbers because Romney and Gingrich have no ground game. I'm sure those of you in Iowa see Ron Paul signs everywhere and Gingrich and, 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 and uh, 
uh, Romney signs almost nowhere. This is the way it was in 1996. Also, they play this game too. The polls were falsified for weeks before the Iowa caucus in 1996 saying Dole was beating Buchanan 28% to 12. As it turned out, there was only a three-point spread, and I believe that was phony. And it will explain exactly, how, again, how they did it and how we prevented it in 2012. Uh, now they're running these polls that Romney and Gingrich are the front front runners. When and now, but it, we're getting close, and now they're having to admit, well, Ron Paul is in the game now. You know, so their 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 credibility is at stake if they if they call it uh, too far off, and they see that the Ron Paul has all the momentum on the ground, and Michelle Bachman to some extent because she's getting the even evangelical some of the evangelical endorsements. <clears throat> so again, the way they did it. The Iowa people came together in Dubuque in 1996 in 41 classrooms at two high schools. We had eyewitnesses in every classroom. We saw the vote. Buchanan had 870. Dole had 339. Okay, now, all they did when they called it into New York City, the county chairman, because that's where the state of Iowa GOP told the county chairman to call it in, the 99 county chairman called it into New York City to voter news service. They switched the results. When it came out the next morning, Buchanan had 757 votes instead of 870. That's 13% of the vote was stolen, and the rest of the people were left the same. So this is the way they do it. The local people do it honest. They fix it at the state level. Now, since we've put out our Network America e-wires announcing this Watch the Vote 2012 site, the other side seems to be moving. They put up a clone website, even copying my languages, language exactly, and copying the mistakes I made as far as estimating the number of caucuses. Uh, so they put up a clone website. They've also floated the story that the Iowa caucus might be hacked by a group named Anonymous. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, Anonymous is undoubtedly somebody working with the Iowa State GOP. Why do they even have computers? They shouldn't even have computers at the state level. They should just have 33 people with calculators, each talking to three of the county chairmen. Then nobody could hack it. But they want a computer at the state level so they can claim it's hacked, maybe, so they can prevent Ron Paul from going up there and taking this victory worldwide. So uh, we'll put on our website, call the Iowa State GOP, call the other numbers or email the other places we, we put up and tell them we're watching them. They better not steal it because like they were caught in Dubuque, Iowa in 1996, we're going to catch them in every county this time if they try to steal it. By the way, if you want to look at uh, the proof about what happened in Dubuque, Iowa in 1996 and how they fixed the election against Buchanan, there's an article on the web called A House Without Doors. That's A House Without Doors. It's the only article on the web. It's also at our, our website, votefraud.org, which incidentally is the oldest uh, site on the web fighting computerized vote fraud and other forms of modern vote fraud. Now, here's visualize this. Here's the way we catch them. Here's the way we checkmate uh, the Iowa State GOP from rigging this Iowa caucus and we can check their partners, the five big TV networks. At WatchTheVote2012.com, we have 99 pages for each county, and there'll be one person, one uh, uh, Ron Paul, or if, if another campaign calls in, we, the, the, some of them may be the leaders of the 99 pages. So one each. So you have like Bill Smith, let's say, is going to be the head of Dubuque County. I just made that name up. So then that's one thing. Uh, imagine this, as an Iowa, when you're going to a caucus, just do everything you're going to do normal, but at the end of the night, you're going to either text, call, uh, email on your laptop, or, or throw up on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash watchthevote2012. You're going to, in some way, send a message so that that leader of your county, who may be sitting in Montana at his computer, he's then going to upload the results you see and 1,784 other people see at the 1,784 local caucus gatherings. He's going to upload for, for his county what you call in that you saw. And that'll happen in all 99 counties, not just one county this time. Like in 1996, we're going to be watching all 99 counties and there's 1,784 local local gatherings. If you're going to go to one, you just come to watchthevote2012.com, learn who your county person is going to be, contact them, and then you're going to contact them right on that night of the caucus. If you are out of state, if you live anywhere within a 10-hour radius of Iowa, and you can drive in to help watch one of these 1,784 local caucuses, just as a reporter, you might say, a reporter for Watch the Vote 2012, then you'll, you, we, we'll assign you where we don't have people contacting us, because everything is happening kind of at the last minute and you go ahead and you be the eyewitness even though you can't vote. 
Uh, so that's the way we'll do it. We'll throw it up on the internet. I'm also going to send a, uh, a, uh, a letter by, uh, we're going to put an open letter on the internet to uh, ABC, CBS, CNN, NBC, Fox, and their creature, which is now called New National Election Pool. They changed the name. We're going to throw, the, throw that up on the internet and send them certified mail so they know we are watching them and they will be caught if they try to falsify this election against Ron Paul or Michelle Bachman or anybody else. All we want is the real results. And that's what we're going to do with eyewitnesses who will stand behind what they saw, just like we had 41 people in Dubuque in 1996 that stood behind what they saw. So visualize you doing that on, on election night. Uh, I'm going to play now what Ron Paul said about watching the vote and vote fraud in, in response to a call in, 19, uh, in 2008. It was near the end of the campaign. He was already eliminated. And he was on the Ron Paul National Meetup call, which is run by AUNetwork.tv. That's AUNetwork.tv. And a lady named Kathy Ornstein out of California asked him this question. And here's part of what he said. We'll put the whole clip up. Uh, on, on WatchTheVote2012.com, which was maybe a few minutes. But here's basically uh, the key parts of the question and what he said. <laughs> For sure. Well, thank you. Oh, hello. Well, it's very good, very good to visit with everybody. And again, oh, uh, I have this... a quick question. Can I ask a quick question? Okay. Uh, I'd like to know if there's going to be a bill to go into Congress. Uh, my name is Kathy from Los Angeles. <clears throat> Uh, to stop the vote fraud? Uh, that is another major problem. <clears throat> it's much bigger than I ever dreamed, although I've been involved and been under, uh, you know, and lost elections in the, in the past because of voter fraud. It is a major, major problem. So we, we can work very, very hard. And uh, then it's the way, you know, the old saying is it's not the way who casts the votes, it's who counts the votes. It really matters. And that has to do with a lot of local people. You know, people in each individual state have to do some ballot uh, security. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's pretty discouraging. Uh, and I think some of that has already happened. We ran into that, I'm pretty certain, at least in, in uh, New Orleans and possibly some other states. But uh, there, there, are, there are things that we can do, but uh, it's going to be in the, up to many of the individual states to watch that as well. Okay, so don't listen to anybody about not watching the vote for Ron Paul and for everybody else at the Iowa Caucus 2012. Believe it or not, some of the paid staff in Iowa is not cooperating to watch the vote. They, they don't tell their people about it. They don't, that's why we're doing it. Maybe it's better it's done independently, but I don't care who tells you not to help watch the vote and call in the results you see to watchthevote2012.com and to post it on our Facebook page, facebook.com, watchthevote2012. I don't care who tells you not to do it. You heard what Ron Paul said. He said, we've been cheated. We know it's very discouraging. We need to all be active in the states to watch the vote. Uh, and so you know what Ron Paul said. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not worth uh, staying at the caucus, seeing the results, and then texting or, or throwing it up on our Facebook page or calling or emailing uh, whoever our leader is, our computer uploader is for that county. And we will then checkmate the Iowa State GOP and the five big TV networks and their, their creature national election pool from fixing this election. We want to see Ron Paul up there if he wins, taking the accolades state and nation worldwide for winning the Iowa caucus, proving the networks and all these talk show hosts that have ridiculed all of you and Ron Paul for all these years. Uh, we want to see their credibility destroyed and despite all their opposition that the people have prevailed. So uh, we're also going to have conference calls. So look at the top of watchthevote2012.com for when our next uh, conference call will be. And if you want to talk to me directly, because, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 some people, because I'm telling you exactly what needs to be done to save this caucus for Ron Paul or whoever wins. I've got smears going out against me all over the joint. If anybody don't believe any of them, please, until you give me a chance. And uh, I'll be on these conference calls. So visualize. We're going to work together. Our tools are the uh, Facebook, the, this video, the website. Uh, uh, your Androids and your cell phones and your laptops and, uh, and our conference calls. And, and this, uh, 
the, this, this network of possibility with Facebook and all that being this far developed was not even available four years ago. So, uh, you know, we've heard about this Arab Spring. I don't know how much of that was really spontaneous, but this can be the Ron Paul Spring or at least the, 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 the Citizen Spring where we, we get an honest result in the Iowa caucus, the only major presidential contest we can watch the votes at every, all the 1,784 local caucuses. So thank you for listening. I could talk for two hours about the documentation that we need to watch the vote in Iowa and elsewhere. But thank you for watching uh, everyone into the battle.